This week, for Five Minute Deities, I will be discussing the case of Snorri the Strong and the Four Men amongst the goddesses, Frigg. Sometimes referred to in the anglicised form, Frigga, Frigg is the wife of Odin, mother of Balder and Hod, and daughter of Fjorgin. She is said to be very wise, and is a match in terms of wits for Odin himself, outwitting him on more than one occasion. In one story, she forces Odin to grant victory to the tribe he intended to lose the battle by tricking him into giving them the gift of a name when he asks her, who are those long beards? She is the archetypal matriarch and is often portrayed with a spindle and distaff. She is very protective of her son Boulder, getting everything in the world to swear not to harm him. Unfortunately, she forgets to ask the mistletoe, an omission which would lead to his death. After Boulder has been killed, she travels around the nine worlds to get everyone and everything to cry for him so that Hell will agree to release him from the afterlife, but failed when one giantess refused. Her role in motherhood is reinforced in the Poetic Edda, which states that she can be invoked by women in childbirth. This is something that is also mentioned in the Saga of the Volsungs. The king, Rerir, and his wife leave offerings when they are struggling to conceive. As Queen of Asgard and the Lady of the Hall, she has an important role in maintaining Frith, similar to that of the cupbearer fulfilled by the chieftain's wife in Norse society. Pouring the mead to guests provides a unique opportunity to speak kind and calming words to guests, promoting friendships and calming anger. Frigg is mentioned in the second Merseburg incantation, when, alongside other deities such as Wodan, she places a charm upon a sick horse suggesting she has some magical abilities. Her role in weaving is also twofold, as a literal weaver, but also a link to the web of weird and her ability to see into the future. Frigg lives in her hall, Fenzelir, which translates as Hall in the Fens, and as such marshland is said to be sacred to her. She is attended by her handmaidens, which include Air, the goddess of healing, Fuller, who is her confidant, and Lofin, the comforter. There is some speculation that all of Frigg's handmaidens are actually just different aspects of her character, but that is not a theory that I subscribe to. Neither do I believe the theory that Frigg and Freya are the same goddess. Whilst there are not that many surviving stories about Frigg, there is evidence of her importance in the religious practice of her ancestors. In several languages, including English, the day of the week, Friday, is named for her. The constellation Orion's Belt is also known as Frigg's Distaff, but interestingly, there are no confirmed places named after her, which is strange given her importance in the Pantheon, and could indicate that she did not have the same cult following as other deities such as Thor or Frey. In modern heathenry, she is widely worshipped and offered to, perhaps more so than she was historically. She is seen as the patron of families and guardian of the home, and an important goddess to invoke for marriage, raising children, as well as protecting women. I will finish this video with a prayer to Frigg. Hail to Frigg, Lady of the Hearth, Champion of the Family, Protector of Women. Keeper of the Keys, you protect our home and strengthen our bonds of kinship, comforting those whose loved ones tread distant shores. You give guidance to mothers, protection and nurturing the young. Faithful wife of Odin, you are more than a match for his cunning. Shining lady of Asgard, we honour you this night. Hail Frigg.